Because if you expect less of a child, you'll get less from a child. And if you expect more from a child, you get more from a child. People of all ages live down to people's expectations of them. The third time I did the exercise in the film, The Eye of the Storm, you've probably seen that film, The Eye of the Storm, the blue-eyed, brown-eyed exercise. Yeah. They gave me 16, 16 students. And when the principal handed me my class roll before school began at the teacher's meeting, he said, now, Miss Ellie, these kids aren't going to learn to read. Nobody else had been able to teach him to read, and neither will you. Just teach him what you can. They'll probably none of them graduate from high school anyway. And I thought, well, you miserable. I thought words that I can't say on the screen. So I went to the teacher, too. I went to the office and looked at their cumulative files. All those kids had high math scores, low reading and spelling scores. So I knew that I was dealing with dyslexic boys and girls. And I know how to teach the dyslexic child. I took a course in that from the from read, remedial reading center in Rochester, Minnesota. So when those 16 kids came into my classroom, I said, kids, I, I, you kids haven't been able to learn to read. Believe me, I will teach you how to read. You will learn to read in this classroom. And they looked at each other like, well, she's crazy, just like everybody said. I said, now listen, if you do exactly what I tell you to, you will leave here reading at the fourth grade level. They came in reading at the first grade level, a couple of them at the upper first grade level, and they were in third grade. They should have been reading at the fourth grade level when, she came, when they came into my classroom. I said, this is what's going to happen. We're going to learn to read. Those kids came into my room reading at the first grade level, left nine months later, reading from at the fourth grade level, but they're on, many of them, their independent reading level was sixth grade. Wow. They were not, they were not unable to learn. We had teachers who were unable to teach to their learning difference. They were not learning disabled, they had a learning difference. They didn't see words the way they're written and they didn't hear words the way they're said. And so I had to teach them in a way that would help them to help them to get used to being in a classroom where you were expected to learn because I knew how to teach. Those kids made those grades and one of the fourth grade teachers said at the end of the year, well, the reason they do so well in her room is there's a huge learning spurt that happens during from between third and fourth grade. And I said, wait, 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 it didn't happen in the other two third grade teachers. <laughs> Right, right. Classroom. Why did it just happen in mine? You mean mine is just the only spurting one? She said, you know what I'm saying. I said, I know exactly what you're saying. And my kids will know exactly what you're saying. And they did because she would spend most of the, about the first half hour of school every day talking about what a terrible teacher Jane El Elliott was. Wow. And I thought, well, I must be doing something right. So what, so what we expect of somebody, that's what we get. So when we're hearing all of these words, like on the news and in many other places, oh, the black on black crime, the black violence, this, that, whatever, I'm constantly using these, these terms, black and white. What we're doing is we're putting people in a box and by putting them in a box, we're, we are, uh, we have expectations that come with that. So, so now people are just, con confined just to those expectations. Is this pretty much correct in a, a, a nutshell? Yes, it is. And they've done studies that prove that teachers are more upset by the kids who exceed their expectations than they are by those who fail to live down to them. Oh, wow. If you act smarter than the teacher thinks you are, then you're in more trouble than if you just maintain what the teacher thinks you are. If you are smart enough to ask questions that the teacher can't answer, She'll say, we aren't on that page yet in the textbook. And that tells you right away that she doesn't care about your interest, that child's interest. All she cares about is following the rules, in the, uh, following the program. I didn't follow the pro program. 